Hey guys, Robert here again from Body Health and Fitness. Um, I was on a walk today, and like as I usually do, and I came across a stick, and it gave me an idea of how I can incorporate this into my band workouts and open up a door to some other exercises that I wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, so I thought I'd share them with you today. Um, so all I have is obviously a red band, and I have this stick. So. Obviously, look, if you have something similar or if it's, uh, I don't know, uh, anything that can mimic this will be perfect, okay? Um, we're going to start off, as I said, I'm going to go through a series of upper body exercises. I'll go on to do some lower body and we'll incorporate this into our banded workouts today. So we're going to start off first. I've already attached the band up here to the tree for myself. So I'm just going to start off a few face pulls, nice and easy. I'm going to kneel down. Two hands pulling in, okay? All the way up. Try to keep it, if you can, in line with your eyes, squeezing your shoulder blades, keeping your head upright, okay? Chest out. Doesn't make a difference what leg you use to balance, provided you use obviously one leg. If you go down on both knees, you can do that as well. I personally though just prefer to be on one knee, okay? After this, this is where we're going to start bringing in the stick. So, just loop it into the band. We're going to start off with some straight arm pull downs. So, take a decent step back, retract your shoulder blades, bring your arms all the way down to the quads, and bring it back up. Again, control it on the way back up, and keep tension in the band at all times. So, I'll just bang out a couple of repetitions here, just to get an idea of what I'm looking for. Nice and easy. Always get that squeeze at the bottom part of the exercise. Following this, we're going to bring in some triceps. So we're going to go down to kneeling. Nice and simple, elbows out, extend, and back. Key point in this exercise is that you have your elbows pointed out. Don't let them sink down. Keep them in nice and tight. Extend the full, full way, all the way back, straight out back as far back as you can while maintaining your elbows going forward that you're not trapping them down or extending them too high okay get the full stretch full range nice and easy following this we're gonna go seated I'll use the tree for a bit of leverage on the hand grip supinated I'm gonna pull into the chest Keeping the elbows in nice and tight, all the way down. Push your chest out as you pull down, squeezing your shoulder blades. Again, try to keep the range as best you can while maintaining tension in the band, even on the way back up. Okay. Following this, we're going to do some ab crunches. So keeping the band behind the head, coming down, all the way up. So actually we'll do it this way. I think this might be better. You get a bit more range in it. So coming down, and back up, all the way down, and back up. If you find it easy, just come out a bit further. Make sure there's more tension. Coming down, back up. Nice and easy. On that exercise, go until you feel a bit of a burn in the abdomen region. All right, so what do we have next? So getting ready to stick, there are a few other exercises that I'd like to bring in. One of them being good mornings. So you're gonna step over the band, like so. Bring the band just behind the neck, go down. Now obviously because the band, it's, there's a bit of tension in it, but you wouldn't do this with a really, really thick band. Um, if you haven't done this exercise before. So you're gonna hold on, slight bend in the knees and hips, come down, feel that stretch, keep the posture in your lower back, straight up and down. You should feel it in your posterior chain, which is your glutes, hamstrings and your lower back. Again, maintaining that upright posture even when you go down, like down. Next. And then 
I'm going to bring it just behind the shoulders. As you can see, I'm going to bring in some squats. Lay your hands out, or you can hold on to the band, whichever you prefer. And down and up. Again, it's just another way of adding resistance to your squat. Now, we're gonna bring in some push-ups next. Bring the band around the shoulders like so. Find a nice flat piece of the ground. And all I want you to do, up and down. Right, guys, we're gonna finish off with a single leg. Or the else. So just double up the band. Wrap your hands like so. And with one leg, we're gonna leave it at the back. Forward and back. Keep the chest out. Again, just from a different angle, so you can see. The band like so. Keep the back leg, chest out. Following this, we are going to do frontal raises. I'm going to step on the band, stick just underneath, bring it back in, out in front. Nice and easy. And keep it in line as you're coming up. Keep tension in the band, bring it up to eye level, and back down, and back down. And then we'll finish off, or sorry, following this then as well, we're going to bring in some upright rows. So, as you come up, picture yourself as if you're like pulling your t-shirt up over your head. So you're pulling up and back. So you're not just pulling out in front, you're pulling up and backwards. In front of you. And then, sorry, to finish off, standard banded bicep curls. Again, if it's a bit light, just double up on the band. And um, again, look, everybody doesn't have the same environment at home when they're trying to use bands. So if you have any issues, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to contact me and I'll help out as best I can. Um, otherwise, enjoy the new exercise routine. As usual, the reps and sets and so on will be, will be uh, uploaded onto the video. All right, guys, have a great day.